This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com. I'm here to talk to you about configuring your MailChimp account for your email subscription list and offering out some sort of incentive or reward to try to get users and readers to sign up for your mailing list. To convince readers to sign up for your mailing list, it's good to offer some sort of reward or incentive for them to sign up. Most bloggers will offer out an ebook, some will give a coupon or discount to something, but you want to try to entice readers, give them the extra push to uh, sign up and make it worthwhile for them to join your mailing list. To do this with MailChimp, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is edit your list and set up your autoresponder that goes out on the final welcome email. To do that, you sign into your MailChimp account and then you want to click on your lists. <clears throat> if you have a predefined list already, you're going to go ahead and <clears throat> select your list and click on the forms button. In the forms menu, you're going to go down and select what's called the final welcome email. This is the email that the customer receives or your reader receives after they already confirmed their subscription. So it makes it so that they had to have confirmed, not just simply entered their email, but then went through and confirmed with the click to confirm their email address. So once you got your final welcome email open, then what you want to do here is click on edit somewhere in the message here. And you want to customize your final welcome email letter. You want to say anything like, of course, thank you for joining the mailing list. Here's your free reward. Uh, any information that provides there, tell them what it is. Tell them what they'll get by being a subscriber and a reader. So you can do something like download your ebook here. And then you could select it and select the link. And from here, you're going to want to upload what you want to offer to the MailChimp server so the MailChimp server can link it out. You could just put in a URL to your actual blog or wherever you want to host the file, but I prefer to just upload it to the MailChimp server. So you choose your file, and in my case, I would choose um, Dragon Blogger Guide to blogging for instance typically you're going to want it to be pdf format not everybody has docx i'm just using this for example click on send it to the server to have your ebook or whatever you want to offer go up to the mailchimp server and then you'll be presented with a link so now it's hosted on gallery.mailchimp.com and that's the link to my document that i'm providing for the reader to download click ok and then it will now make your link pick up that document or that file you want to offer to your readers like I said, if you don't want to offer a document or file, here's where you can give the information for like a coupon code or other uh, type of reward or discount uh, if your site sells services or products. It's another good idea. One really good tip, and you'll see that most uh, bloggers or websites that offer a mailing list subscription is to offer some incentive or reward to entice readers to join, um, put in the extra effort to fill in their username, fill in the email, fill in their first and last name, join your mailing list. Give them something that matches the content they want. Another real good thing you could do with MailChimp is if your subscription list caters to a wide variety of audience on different topics, you can say have a, a field in your mailing list for like technology or software, and then you can actually custom tailor the reward based on what category they chose when they signed up. That's a bit of a more advanced tutorial trick uh, for a later date, but for now, this is how you just simply upload an ebook or offer a coupon code in your final welcome letter to your MailChimp customers. Thank you for watching.